This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by T-Mobile. 35-year-old Greg Foltz from New Mexico, he's in the news today because he decided to put his ex-girlfriend on blast by uh, paying for a billboard that uh, claims that she had an abortion. Now, in the billboard, she is not identified, okay? It features him holding an outline of what would be a baby, and uh, he says, uh, this would have been a picture of my two-month-old baby if the mother had decided not to kill our child. Damn. Okay, so there's a picture of the billboard there. We're about to show you an ABC News report on this, but I just want to note for you guys that he has already admitted that he has absolutely no evidence that she's even had an abortion. Oh. Her friends claim that uh, she's had a miscarriage, uh, So, and, and he admits, well, yeah, I guess that's a possibility. I don't know. Word. But he creates this billboard anyway. Anyway, let's watch the ABC News report. It gives us a little more detail into the story, and then we'll have a little chat about it. Driving down White Sands Boulevard in Alamogordo, you see Greg Fultz's message loud and clear. I thought this would, this would make a pretty good billboard. You know, it's a it's a powerful statement, and uh, you know it it you know says a lot. The 35-year-old college student is the star of the billboard. He's pictured holding an outline of a baby with this phrase. This would have been a picture of my two-month-old baby if the mother had decided to not kill our child. He says it was inspired by a real-life experience. The so-called father's perspective on abortion was even endorsed by New Mexico Right to Life. I wanted to uh, get out this message because I felt that it was uh, uh, important and powerful enough to maybe sway one person's mind from uh, having an abortion. New Mexico Right to Life actually tells us this was the first time they had ever agreed to endorse a billboard. They also tell us it will have been the last. Well, we contacted Greg and asked to have our endorsement removed from the billboard. Betty Eikensier says in part that's because they found out Fultz's girlfriend may not have had an abortion at all. Fultz admits he has no idea how his baby was lost, but the message on his billboard still stands. But if it was abortion, uh, then uh, my my purpose is try to uh, uh, prevent this uh, from happening to someone else. All right. Look, the dude was questionable in the first place. When uh, he said if this was an abortion, uh, he became an official douchebag of enormous proportion. I think he was a douchebag even before uh, he admitted that he didn't know whether or not she actually had the abortion. You know, th there's a, a huge discussion about freedom of speech and right to privacy when it comes to this situation. I definitely think that this is a privacy issue, mm -hmm. okay? Her name might have not been on that billboard, but regardless of that, they have mutual friends, they might have family members that know that they've dated. No one needs to know her business. I don't care if she had an abortion. I don't care if she had a miscarriage. It's no one's business. You don't put that on a billboard. No, I, I want to be clear because I think you're absolutely right. Look, I think he is a terrible guy to begin with. He just became epically terrible, especially when if she miscarried and she probably, either way, if she miscarried or she had an abortion, she probably feels horrible about it, right? And then this guy's like doesn't even know he comes in guns blazing mm -hmm. and puts it on a billboard. Talk about putting someone on blast. I've never seen anyone put on blast more than that, right? Because you're right. Almost everyone who knows them has to know who that person is. Of course. Right? Now look, he does have freedom of speech. So it there's but what he's got to understand is there's a bit difference between I have the right to do it and I should do it, mm -hmm. right? And and I think it's a good question as to, and, and I think it would probably go to a court as to whether her privacy rights trump his speech rights in that case. For example, our rights to safety trump the right of someone to yell fire in a crowded theater, right? right? So freedom of speech is not absolute in that sense. You can't say anything you want anywhere you want. You can't libel people, uh, et cetera. You can't make up things uh, about people, in which case, in this case, he might have literally made something up about her, et cetera, right? right. Uh, and then the fact that he didn't put her name or face on the billboard probably helps his case if that goes to a case, right? But what doesn't help him at all in any court of public opinion is, is it the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do? It is, 
indisputably a despicable thing to do. Right, and um, a domestic court official recommended that they take down the billboard, and they have taken down the billboard, except now he plans on uh, fighting to have the billboard put back up. He's going to go to the District Court of Appeal. Uh, so we'll see what ends up happening with that. He plans on pursuing this, but just watching that video, you realize how asinine he is because he says, like, oh, well, yeah, there's a possibility that she had a miscarriage, but my statement still stands. What, what statement? You just defamed her. You just said that, you know... That she killed the baby. Right. Well, how can your statement stand that she killed the baby if she, you know, even by your own wacky definition, didn't, mm -hmm. right? Look, the only upside of this story is Apparently somebody made the mistake of sleeping th with this guy once. I yes. And that mistake will not get repeated, I hope Ever in New again. Mexico. Okay. 35-year-old student Greg Fultz, done. T-Mobile Rocket 3.0 4G laptop sticks allows you to take your 4G high-speed internet wherever your laptop is. Of course, this is both Mac and PC compatible and it's really light and it fits in your pocket. You get on-the-go 4G speeds. In fact, you can download 21 megabytes Per second. That's really fast.